In an interview with Tom's Hardware, AMD Senior VP Jack Hyun clearly pointed in the direction of the next generation of AMD GPUs being mass market offerings for the 80% of users in the middle, as opposed to the top 10% who might be looking at, say, an RTX 5090. So between this rumored performance window and Intel's XE2 Battle Mage cards likely matching a 4070 Super in terms of performance, early 2025 could be a really interesting time to be cross-shopping some mainstream performance GPUs. In stark contrast to the lack of competition for Nvidia in that tip top 10%. Ray tracing and AI performance looks set to get significant boosts in RDNA 4. AMD CEO Lisa Su recently stated on a call with investors and analysts that, in addition to strong increases in gaming performance, RDNA 4 delivers significantly higher ray tracing performance and adds new AI capabilities. Now, ray tracing is a very obvious area for AMD to offer some improvement this gen, after it very clearly fell behind Nvidia in this area in the previous cycle. Still kind of a niche high high-end feature, but it's also not going away anytime soon. Our new AI capabilities is a pretty broad statement, but it will be interesting to see how AMD applies that to gaming as opposed to general AI workflows. We know Nvidia has high ambitions for the future of its DLSS based on statements from big boss Jensen Huang, who recently spoke about using that kind of AI to conjure up background elements like buildings, vegetation, or even full-on background characters. 